Why hello there! My name is Alice. I'm an illustrator, sculptor, and plant mama. <laughs> and welcome back to the Mushroom Nook Studio. Things tend to get a little strange around here. So, the year is 2020, and we've all found ourselves stuck inside. But spring is here, and as any plant parent know, it is the time where your little babies need a little tender loving care so that it can start thriving in the new year. So for this video, I thought I'd take you along with me on my plant journey, do a little tour, introduce you to all my children. And also, I've always been a very big fan of those science species slash family tree kind of catalog posters. So I thought, hey, why not make one of my own? I'm an illustrator. Let's go and illustrate every single plant I have. Because that's fun and not mental at all. It's gonna turn out great. I can see the vision in my head. It's gonna be great. And without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Alrighty. I started by cataloging all of my plants. Apparently, I have 24 different types of plants. Who knew? Next comes the header to the poster, and of course, the always important caveat that this is to be expanded. Because let's be honest here, is anyone's plant family ever complete? I sketch all the plants out first with pencil just to make sure that they fit in all nicely with each other. I also wrote out all their names, common and scientific, with my trusty dip pen. And I then went ahead and painted everything with watercolor before going in with my dip pen again, this time with brown ink, just to refine everything and add that little touch of detail. Ferns are probably one of my favorite types of plants, and I own several different types of ferns, which is ambitious because they are notoriously very fickle. This one is the famous Boston Fern. Now I don't know if this is just me or if this is an actual thing, but it came from the tropics. So the idea of any plants or flowers with any kind of blue hue is still mind-blowingly magical to me. So I still have a hard time accepting that this blue star fern is an actual plant. Here we have the Never Never plant, a type of prayer plant so-called because at night their leaves fold up like praying hands. I also have a thing for putting tiny plants in novelty teacups. Speaking of planters that steal the show, this Chinese evergreen is really neat, but this lock shaped tart really does kick it up a notch. Our friend the pinstripe calathea falls in this group of plants that don't look real. It's pinstripe, looks like it's been painted on with paint markers, and I love it. I don't know if there's much to be said about this particular beauty apart from who doesn't want strings upon strings of tiny little turtles. I would also like to note that this is the first ever plant with string in the title that I actually managed to keep alive. Looking at you, pearls and hearts. I adore lace ferns because of how clustered together they look like a miniature forest. This one just happens to be growing out of the head of a bird. Another member of the prayer plant family, this rabbit's track plant is just too freaking cute. And in the summer, she sprouts these adorable tiny white flowers that are always the highlight of my summer. On the rabbit theme, I am convinced that this next guy is only named Rabbit's Foot Fern because the name Spider Plant is already taken because his little rhizomes, rhizomes, whatever it is, look exactly like spider legs. They creep most people out, but I find it so adorable. Come on, fuzzy spider legs? Cute. Ah yes, we have arrived at a plant collector's holy grail, the Pilia to end all Pilias, the Chinese money plant. Sought after by many far and wide, cause come on, look at this thing. Can you get any cuter than perfectly round leaves? I think not. This queen is also really easy to take care of, and once you've got one, you're gonna have 
a forest of them because they pop out little baby plants like every other week, especially in the summer. It's insane. You're gonna be drowning in pileus before you know it, and you're gonna be so happy about it. And also, baby pileus are so adorable. Ah, the maiden hair fern. Delicate, elegant, so freaking hard to keep alive. But it's alright, because we are in love, and love so persevere, and we should never mention all the other ones that I've killed. It's fine, none of anyone's business. You might have noticed a little theme by now of me having a type, and that type is plants with adorably tiny leaves that are super hard to take care of. This one happens to sit on a throne. That should tell you all you need to know about our little Gracie here. Psst, she's a diva. Here we have a sort of fusion of all of my favorite things. Plants that doesn't look real. Check. Novelty planter. Check. Novelty planter that also happens to be shaped like a cup of tea. Doubly check. We have a snake plant. It's tiny and adorable. Inside a tiny adorable planter. Yay! <laughs> Friends, we have entered the Monstera section of the video. This one here is a monkey mask Monstera. It's cool, it's funky, but what plant collection can call itself complete without the Monsteria Deliciosa? Back in uni, we had in our studio these giant massive Monsteras, and so when I graduated, I got one to commemorate my time with the Cambridge School of Art. You've seen my other pothos earlier in the video. That one's a golden pothos, this one is a satin pothos. And it sits atop a golden mirror, as it should. Right, we're in the home stretch now, folks. Let's do a little speed round. This here is a rubber plant. I think it's one of the first plants I've ever gotten. Not quite sure. We have an olive tree, because I am basic and proud. And also, my boyfriend's name is Oliver, so that's my excuse. <laughs> And finally, I have an army of succulents, and they're all tiny, and they sit inside tiny antique cream jugs that I collect from charity shops. And I don't know how to put this bit together, so montage! That's it! I did it! I recorded myself painting all of my plants. That took way longer to do than I thought it would, but hey, what else is new? Jokes aside, it was a really fun exercise and it made me really pay attention even more to the plants that I have and really observe them and appreciate them for the little wonders that they are. My children, I've loved you before. And I love you even more now that I actually know all your names. Here's to you, here's to plants, here's to nature. As for the drawing, all I need to do is add the final touches, then scan it in, clean it and zhuzh it up a bit with some computer magic. I'm really proud of these drawings and I thought they deserve a little more attention, so I cut some of them out to make individual spotlight posts which you would have seen already if you came over from my Instagram. And without further ado, here is the final product. Why hello again there. I hope you've been enjoying that video. Can you tell that we've been in quarantine for more than a month? Did you enjoy seeing my front room? It's a little change of pace, but it's good. It's nice. If you have enjoyed that video, feel free to let me know in the comments down below and hit that like button while you're at it. If you've really been enjoying that video and you would like to enjoy more videos like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to know when you can enjoy more videos like this, Ring that little bell, you know the drill. And while you're down there, check out my website and store in the description down below, as well as all the social medias, because I tend to get around there. It's a fun time. Anywho, I hope you're having a nice day. I hope you're staying safe and well, 
I was going to say same, but I think that's too much to ask. And I will see you again here next time. Until then, bye! Bye! Everything's fine.